listening to Reset Race. You now tuned in to Reset Race. Uh, uh. You're listening to Reset Race. You now tuned in to Reset Race. What? Put them back on the grill again. We grilling them. Put them back on the grill again. We grilling them. Put them back on the grill again. We grilling them. Back on the grill again. We grilling them. Uh. You're listening to Reset Race. Adults need reparations to make America great. Uh. You're tuned in to Reset Race. We no longer starving while others eat off our plate. No. You're listening to Reset Race. We focused on our justice claim. We know what is at stake. Uh. You're tuned in to Reset Race. You'll find out we're really about justice and really who we fake. On the edge, go back to U.S. Southern plantations. Pennies, Jim Crow, and mass incarceration. Redline and lynchings, we are old from this nation. You're not about justice if you ain't for reparations. Uh, MG, the wise one, cousin mother intellectual. Smith, the bringing fire, anti black, we pressing you. No permanent friends and no permanent enemies. The backbone of the country, the win. You need our energy. You gonna see? Listening to Reset Race. You now tuned in the reset race. Uh, uh. You're listening to reset race. You now tuned in the reset race. Uh, put them back on the grill again. We grilling them. Put them back on the grill again. We grilling them. Put them back on the grill again. We grilling them. Back on the grill again. We grilling them. Uh. You're listening to reset race. Adults need reparations to make America great. Uh. You're tuned in the reset race. We no longer starving while others eat off our plate. No. You're listening to reset race. We focused on our justice claim. We know what is at stake. Uh, you're tuned in the reset race. You'll find out we're really about justice and really who fake. Uh, 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 uh. Welcome <coughs> to Reset Race, where we talk about race and how, how race functions in American politics and American society and all those intersections up in here and there. So, um, old, so again, I think I'm, I, I, damn it, I forget. To, I'm Michael Graham from Act of Fire Press. I don't know if I said it in the beginning. Everybody, in the, everybody in the, in, go to the comments and let me know if I said it right. Uh, <laughs> at the same time, uh, we're going to introduce the crew. Big John, it couldn't make it today. He's getting his education on, and we're proud of him. We support him 100%. So we're gonna start from the top. Dr. J is gonna come in. She's 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 our she's a she's come she's coming in the guest host again. Um, we're gonna stop calling her guest in a minute. We're gonna just go. We're just gonna keep her, and uh, <laughs> so we can let her introduce herself. Doc, Dr. Hey, J, come I'm, on, talk to her. I'm Dr. J. I am really working close to becoming a doctor. I'm looking into graduate school right now as we speak, um, for next year. So it's a real thing. Wow. We'll be Dr. J soon. Um, yes. So thank y'all for having me here. I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna be permanent one day. Um, yeah, but yeah, on. might as well. My replacement, y'all. My replacement. No, I don't want to replace you, Sam. I don't want to replace you. No, Sam, I don't want to replace you. it. I told you I'm trying to run off. Of, I told you I'm trying to run off and be a rich housewife. Y'all think I'm just- <laughs> We know we gonna we gonna go drag you out of there. We gonna keep both of you. So we we crazy like that. All right. Next up, Sam. Talk to us, Sam. All right. So I'm Samantha Angelique. You can find me on Twitter at the Seventeen Trillion. I don't really fuck with Clubhouse like that, but when I'm on there, I'm at me Twenty Seven Trillion. Yeah, it's been months though. Uh, I know. I'm best with you. Like I made a rare appearance on Instagram the other day. I know because my homegirl. So. I made a rare appearance on Instagram at Samantha Angelique and um, that's about it. So I'm looking forward to um, getting in on Bill Maher tonight because, you know, he shows his hood from time to time mm-hmm. and, you know, people give him a pass just because he fucks ugly black chicks from time to time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey. I'm in LA. I live in LA. I don't know what time it is. Well, he's also ugly, so I guess, it's, I guess it's two ugly people. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead, continue. So, so yeah, and do we not remember when he was talking about how he just a house nigga? So us field niggas need to get his ass together. Facts. So, yeah, that's what it is. Mm-hmm. And uh, go ahead, Mud. Mud, talk to him. Yeah, they call me Mud. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Clubhouse, all at of lineage, uh, bitter dose TV. You know, keep checking out for it. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. Today's show is Leave about. Leave Edie alone. 
if y'all knew Edie, you would understand that. She was on the last week's show. All right, so <laughs> so we're going to talk about uh, our man Charlotte. Well, somebody's man, Charlotte Man the God. He ain't our man. Charlotte Man the God was Somebody's on, man. Somebody's man. Somebody's, somebody's man. And you, somebody, and that's, homie, brother, bro, yeah. ham, cousin. Yeah, even that's daddy, questionable. If you husband. know about his, if you know about his hip hop career, even that is questionable. But in any <laughs> <laughs> in any event, he was on real time with Bill Maher. Um, Bill looking Maher. like a sucker. Sucker. Now I what 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 we'll go into it in a minute. You know. You know. He uh. Please tag, please tag, uh, please tag Charlemagne in this, everyone. Because Charlemagne, yeah. we're going to tell you what to say next time. I'm not even going to drag yeah. you too bad because yeah. I want your you're ears to be open. So the next bad. time an uppity white liberals, one of these white liberal racists come at you and say some stupid shit, you need mm-hmm. to know what to say, bruh. So we're going to give you the information so you'll be straight for the next one. I don't care. You don't have to know who I am. You can pretend like you don't. You can pretend like you don't. You didn't get the information from us. We don't give a fuck. We just need you to not be out here looking dumb as fuck. On mm. national TV, international TV. All right, we we we, we, we I guess we'll title this the Charlemagne training. So <laughs> so we, we go forward. All right, make it South Carolina. How, how to not look like a sucker? Yeah, for Charlemagne. How you let Bill Maher punk you? Uh Bill Maher couldn't fight his way out of a wet paper bag with a pair. With, of with arguments that uh. white people, with arguments that a white fucking German shut down two years ago. It's in the, it's on the, thing, the internet. The thing that pissed me off is the fact no, that we he gotta had... wait till we get to the video. Okay, Just, let's go. Let's because go. I'm pissed. Because <laughs> I'm pissed. All right, Again, this is... All right let, let me let me finish the I'm intro. Sorry, okay. I'm pissed. It's okay. We're gonna get to him. We're gonna get him, Doc. We're gonna get him. So it's reparations from real time with Bill Maher on March 5th, 2021. So he got oh god, Amani, he got two thousand thumbs down. I have never seen that many good, thumbs down. Good, good. Let me put my thumb down too. Yeah, with, like yeah, Charlie Murphy, I get him tennis two thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> you would never see me talk bad about titties. I want to share that with all of y'all. <laughs> I grew up all in right. the '90s. Thank God, I'm a woman. It sucks. It sucks to. First of all, it sucks to not be able to say shit, and it sucks mm-hmm. even more to be a man. Like, if I was a man, I would hate my life. You can't say a fucking thing. Sure as a can. woman, people talk shit, but they only go so far. Like, as a man, you can't say nothing. You just gotta yeah. sit there and eat your fucking food. This is, this is terrible. <laughs> eat the cake, I'm man. angry eat for cake. you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Appreciate it, Sam. All right, so all right, here we go. We know we know who the and some uh, who who's the other person on the show because I I didn't get the person's name. I don't know about none of the rest of them. Okay, there was somebody else who was chiming in with Bill. All right, so we yeah, just some to- idiot talking about shit that already been debunked if he would have googled and read a fucking study. Mm-hmm. But let's yeah. keep let's let's get going. Go ahead, sorry, MG. I'm sorry. It's all good. All right, let's ride, family. Hey, hate you people sometimes. I swear to God, I hate you. I hate you. Gosh. Last month, the Biden administration <laughs> said, speaking of money, they want to study reparations. Study it. Um, compensate descendants of slaves for unpaid labor by their ancestors. Jen Psaki, the press spokesman, said, we'll see what happens in the legislative process. Um, I'm curious where you are on this issue. I mean, it's a, it's, there's a collective guilt that's asking individuals Let's stop right there. to recompense. Who the fuck said about collective guilt? We're suing mm-hmm. the government. Exactly. Nobody said shit about collective guilt. This is white people. Reparations is not about white guilt. You white people are not moral people. You, we cannot appeal to you on your moral conscience. This is about a debt. You stole from our ancestors. That inheritance was never given to my ancestors for me to inherit. That is what the issue is. And after that, you said you was going to give us 40 acres and a mule. At the same time, you were denying mm-hmm. us 180 acres that you were giving these motherfuckers who were coming over here from overseas Fresh who had the not put nothing into this country. So first of all, the 40 acres and the mule should be the beginning of what we're talking about, What you should really be paying us for 180 acres that you paid out to all these white people who came here from another country who didn't build shit here before it started. Homestead so, Act. Yep. Homestead, homestead Act. Boom. So, 
I don't know what else y'all got to say, but this motherfucker started to talk about white guilt and white people. This has white people, unless you want to take it personally, this is about black people in the government. Mm, so did you get in between what did you get in between jewish people in the government when the government paid reparations to the jews under the obama administration Mm -hmm. because if not i don't see what the issue is did y'all get in between the japanese when we paid the japanese for their internet if not what the fuck are you talking about Mm -hmm. go ahead anybody else dr j my thing is no one has an argument against the indigenous people of this land when they argue for their reparations, when they argue for their land grants and all of that. Even they, though they were slave you, owners. You, besides all of that, besides no, all of that, no, the simple no, fact of the matter is, and I know I'm going forward in this, it's just like, because he says it eventually, but like the whole idea of we weren't slaves. Well, those indigenous people weren't killed. Doing, they didn't get smallpox, but they still getting land. Ooh. Motherfucker. Okay, so they still I, want to, land. I want you to save that for when he say it, so, Dr. J. You got to hold up stuff for when it comes. I'm just hold so... Because you have to say it again. You have to say that again. Oh, no, no, I'm going to say it again up. some weed blow. But what... <laughs> so what I want to say on this is a simple fact that if you're talking about white guilt, the motherfuckers who got that land grant, the motherfuckers became Ooh. white. Y'all became white. So you participated in this collective white guilt. So anywho, ooh, 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 I'm done. Ooh, ooh, and Dr. J talked about white. So since Dr. J brought up whiteness and since Coca-Cola had to do this whole thing with Robin D'Angelo because she did a whole thing talking about being less white before 1681, whiteness did not exist as a race. It was not a category. It was not until after Bacon's Rebellion when a tenant farmer, Bacon, decided that he was going to team up with poor whites and black slaves and burn everything the fuck down. And they fought the oligarchs in the establishment for a whole year. It took a year for them to put down the rebellion. That's when they started miscegenation laws. Blacks couldn't marry whites. That's when they started to doing the separations of the races that was what the whole point is that's when white became a category that's when they started consolidating these people who were germans irish protestants catholics into being white so when people say get rid of whiteness or be less white nobody is talking about genocide or it's or or exterminating anybody they're talking about a category that was created to create race and class because you motherfuckers always talk about how everything is class race and class were created together that's what y'all miss and they know that they don't care Fuck. i know they really don't they get on my fucking nerves what y'all got before i go back to playing this shit we only 28 seconds in we already <laughs> slayed on this Mud, you got yeah let my talk yeah um as far as the collective guilt thing of course i don't subscribe to that i mean this is a issue with the federal government but Within that respect, with white people being the majority, they're essentially the motherfuckers who control the government. Mm -hmm. They can do anything that they want as far as like pushing forward policy. Now, if we look at a motherfucker like Bill Maher and we go through his track record on HBO, I can guarantee you we can find hours upon hours of clips where he's criticizing racist policies from Republicans. Not like not shit that's from 100 years ago, but shit that's happening in current times. So he understands what the fuck is happening to us, what 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 it, essentially the white majority is doing to our communities. So there is a little bit of guilt there that needs to be addressed. And for some reason, these motherfuckers think they're absolved of dealing with any of this. Yeah, I, yeah. The guilt thing is it, he's just poison in the well. I mean that that white guilt mm-hmm. thing is always has always been a bullshit talking point. Yeah, they can miss me with that shit. I don't want their yeah. guilt. Yeah, like, fuck yeah. you. We don't, but we nobody's ever been talking about guilt, right? I mean, it's it's just this just again, he's just poisoning the well. This is a debt owed. We worked, mm-hmm. and and he's talking specifically about labor that was unpaid, just mm-hmm. like concentration camp labor was unpaid, and concentration camp um for the for the they went department. back and sued the train company that moved them from place to place mm-hmm. quit our playing lifetime. me quit like playing me mm-hmm. <coughs> yeah I, I, I get it is... go ahead go ahead Mutt. 
Yeah, I was going to say, maybe I shouldn't have went with guilt. Maybe I should say responsibility because... No, you just, you just said what that fucker said. Yeah. This is, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, uh, it, like, the collective has a responsibility to, like, push this country forward in, in a certain type of way, and they're just choosing not to. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Simple as that. They're choosing not to. Yeah. They're lazy. Back to the video, man. God damn. Pence. I think that's how we would frame that. Um, listen, I think reparations have to happen for black people. You know what I mean? Because slavery was America's original sin. And I really don't think no good is going to come to this country until they atone stop. for their original sin, which was please stop it, slavery. Please. I mean, we, my, my ancestors hey. literally... Boom. Okay, because I, I, <laughs> I looked at the comment section after yes, the video. Yes, and then talking about like, Native Americans. Give it to them. Boom. I... Slavery is the original sin in this fucking country, period, point blank. Because of what, when them white motherfuckers came over here with the Mayflower and bullshit and stuff and made New England, they, the first thing they fucking did was came with guns and Bibles and they tried to enslave the indigenous people. That's what they fucking did. And when they realized they couldn't enslave the motherfucking people who are indigenous, that's when they took the raggedy asses over to Africa to find people who weren't from the land confuse motherfuckers and then bring people over here to enslave us. Slavery is this fucking country's original sin. And in the process of having slavery be something that was a sufficient enterprise in this fucking country, that's when they started taking land from people and it was like either you, you give me your land or you participate in this slavery thing with us, you be a slave or you own the slave. You become white. So that's the gist of the shit. Now, all the other shit after that is complicated, but slavery existed in this country since the day the European motherfuckers came over yonder. Mm -hmm. Slavery by way of the indigenous, slavery by way of the Africans they took from Africa, bitch. That's the original sin, goddammit. Like you said, and like I said, you know, I love it how you brought up the fact that Native Americans did own slaves. Native Americans were slave owners, slave catchers. Like, they, they was in on the racket, too. And let me say this shit because I say this all the time when people be talking about how Mexico was stolen. Native Americans fought a fucking war and lost that shit. Y'all fought whole fucking wars and lost your shit. Our black asses didn't fight no war. We got stolen. We got fucking snatched up by other other Africans that, from different tribes and they sold us to white people. Okay. So, miss me with the bull. Made a good living doing it. A real good living. So, all right. We got some more because it's going to take us forever to get through this. We still got to get through Charlamagne's terrible ass answer. Charlamagne, you're not, you're not built for this. Like I said, please please steal our answers so you can do better. Because if you're going to be the prop up puppet, we need you to, we need you to fucking do your research. Because this is terrible. You should have known about Thomas Kramer. All right. Literally built this country for free. So when you see all of this money being thrown around, you know, $27 trillion in national debt, $1.7 trillion for failed F-35 fighters. Half a million for dogs. Half a million for fucking dogs. It's like if you're black in this country, you have to be like, well, what the hell? What's up with us? You know what I mean? So for me personally, but, I, I, I... But again... I, I don't even see what the issue is. I don't well, the, the issue is that that's argue. the collective guilt. Oh, oh, free, but Sam. individual white people... Are all right, I want Can everybody we get to a little think. bit further through this. <laughs> I think this this is an important point. Listen to the reaction of the crowd is very important. If this was ten years ago, you brought up reparations, you probably would have been able to hear a pin drop, right? This is this is progress, right? I, I mean, it's not much progress, granted, but it is it's an important point that the crowd is just is agreeing with him, and we'll see in a minute how the crowd feels about what Bill Maher says. All right, let's go. <laughs> but again, I, I don't even see what the issue is. I don't well, the, the issue is that that's argue. the collective guilt. Oh, oh, but Sam. individual white people are saying, "I didn't do it, Listen. and and my ancestors didn't even do it, and and you're and and you are not your ancestors." That's that's I'm the pause. So <laughs> no, 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 okay. So I'm gonna let Charlemagne answer, and then I'm gonna play the answer that he should have used from Thomas fucking Kramer. Is that fair? Fair. 
You see, I'm a descendant of those of those answers. I know, but though. okay. Hey, listen, when a debt is old, a debt is old. Period. But you've got a lot of money, so you say you should get more. Pause. Okay, so that was so you saw what Charlemagne's answer was. I think it's, no, it's this one. It's this one. I used the article because they have they literally have like questions and answers, like Darity did, right? He's from Connecticut. He teaches at. I think he's, well, he's from Connecticut. Oh, he lives in Connecticut now. Yeah, he's a he's a German. Oh, yeah, because I remember seeing him before. No, Let me go. You know TC? Well, that's what I call him. Tom's Kramer. I call him TC. He's our guy. Okay, where is it? That's Mud's guy. <laughs> Mud loves that. He's my guy, too. For that for that 64 quadrillion, that's my guy. I love you, Darren, even for 60 quad, 64 quadrillion. I'll trade you out for the white German. <laughs> Throw the brother under the bus. <laughs> Not under the bus. I will. I will buy you a fucking golden bus. Okay. <laughs> damn. Like. It's like damn. The bus you get run over by. <laughs> like, I will back the bridge truck up to your house. It'll like, be a Mercedes bus. <laughs> okay, give me a second. I gotta find uh, it. Uh, question and answer. Okay, what is argument? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> what do you say to the argument that reparations shouldn't be, be be paid because no one living today is a slave or slave owner? The passage of time sometimes leads to objections, such as there's no present day injustice that is being perpetrated, therefore reparations should not be paid. My response to that would be, that there are inheritances being handed down to the hands of people whose ancestors did not do the hard work. So I'm gonna stop there before I keep going further. So there are plenty of people in this country who have money that comes from land grants, FHA loans, and all kinds of things that we're giving. And a lot of people own money that is slave money. Chase Manhattan, their insurance companies, there is money that is still in the system to this day that comes from slavery. That money that is still moving should belong to Black people. Let me get back to what he said. I'm going to roll back a little bit, though. Inheritances being handed down to the hands of people whose ancestors did not do the hard work. Instead of being handed down to the hands of African-American families whose ancestors did do the hard work. The present day injustice that has nothing to do with any pain and suffering back then. That was Bill's question, right? So the present day injustice that has nothing to do with any pain and suffering back then. It has to do with a current injustice. The current injustice is that us as descendants of slaves who built this country did not inherit the wealth that was created. That is the injustice. That's what reparations should be paid for. It's not about paying reparations for slaves that are dead now. This is paying reparations for the money that would have been passed down through the generations to us as their ancestors. Agreed. Agreed. Anything to us as their doctor? descendants. What do you say, Doc? To us as their descendants. And mm -hmm. Mm. from them as our ancestors they should have received the wealth to pass down to us yeah, exactly yeah, to, to, <clears throat> I, to, to be uh, there is no guarantee that that wealth would have continued but we can guarantee it won't continue because it was never paid that mm -hmm. be guarantee yeah but, that's true but what you got oh uh, well just to like these these arguments are like so old it's like cliche at this point Pretty and much. Like part of the problem with like listening to these arguments now is like you realize, wait, the other point contradicts this point. For instance, well, I shouldn't say the other point because when they bring up the Native Americans as like the original sin, you know, it's a whole other thing with that. But they were paid reparations and they were paid reparations like a century or so after the initial injury. They're pretty much in the same boat as us. So if the American government was able to pay reparations to them, people who did not actually lose the land that was taken by, by the settlers or, or the uh, colonialists, if they are eligible 
for reparations, even though they weren't the actual person that was harmed, then the same rule applies for us. That's basically it. Ooh, my throwing, 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 throwing shit. Go ahead, man. <laughs> and, we, and we had Woo, and to go wait. along with that. Go along with that point. You know, there was no reason for these folks to steal land that there was nobody to work it, right? And we had to, Woo. we had to be. We had, we got Hence about why that. slavery is the original sin. They didn't yes, just ma'am. take the land just yes, to be ma'am. like whatever. Mm-hmm. The land was valuable because of the work that was put into it by slaves. Other exactly. Because I mean, the same so- way why your grandpappy immigrated to this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. I, there was I, I, opportunity here because slaves created the opportunity. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I, I, I brought this point up before. I think I did it in writing a long time ago. But many of us understand, those of you who ever lived in the South, especially Florida, Georgia, and Alabama, and parts of South Carolina, a good percentage of that land that people are on now used to be swamp. Mm. Completely and utterly unworkable swamp. Malaria-laden, snake, reptile-laden mm-hmm. swamp. But the first earth movers on this, on this continent was us. Mm-hmm. It was us that filled those swamps and made it arable mm-hmm. farmland. It was us that moved this moved that used to be uh soil at the bottom of those swamps that became air became arable soil, made the, the best soil in the world to plant on. That, mm-hmm. that was our backs. That was our ancestors' backs that did that. All right. So that was why it was possible to do what was done. All right. I just want to make that clear. All right. All right, Sam, what else we got, man? More of this whole shit. Let's go. <laughs> um, should I get more? Well, no. M- I, you should, I'm, you I'm should get a, a check. Yes, I'm not I'm 97% w- a West African born in Charleston, South Carolina, so I should I should definitely get a check. But if 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 it, if it's to the Stop. point where you know what you Stop. make Stop. pause. Go ahead, Mud. Get him. Get him. Get him, Mud. Arr. All right. So we're not basing this on DNA tests or percentages of uh, 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 I guess ethnicity or whatever. Or income. Put. Oprah gets a check too. She can <laughs> she can send that to the mind. African girls at her fucking school in Africa where she built instead of doing some shit for kids in Chicago. We don't give a fuck. Right. She can buy fucking bags for Gail with that shit for all the fuck we give. But she gets she a goddamn give check. She give it to me. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry, mother. She don't care about black men. Nigga, bye. What's she, what Oprah giving money to black men for? <laughs> she she been taking care of Stedman for all these years to be her beard. The fuck she gonna give money to hey, another nigga for? Hey. That was it. That was her charity program. Hey. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> um. Well, yeah, I definitely agree with Sam. Like, look, this isn't about whether or not you have money or not. So say it with your chest. When you're saying, oh. yes, I deserve reparations also. Um, mm-hmm. But this this thing where he's basing it on like uh, percentages <laughs> of, you know, your DNA and all, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking Seriously. about being able to just trace your lineage based on, you know, paperwork Census and stuff records. like that. Yeah. This, that, 1870, that's the of, keep it simple. Mm-hmm. That's the type of shit we're talking about because a DNA test cannot tell you whether or not you're a descendant of slaves. And, and let's go deeper, right? With these DNA tests, we don't know who, what, with, what not with the DNA. Because so many of these white people are $5 Indians and y'all tell mm-hmm. them they real Indians and they DNA test. I don't believe shit you say. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I said it at me, 17 trillion. You can be mad, but look, a lot of y'all are straight white people. You 100% white. Like people are buying white, DNA. White. <laughs> go ahead. I'm yeah, sorry. that's true. Goes, I'm gonna go swab this dude on the corner. Come here, you you got some long dark hair. Come here, <laughs> go ahead. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. No, I'm done because I'm about to say some fuck shit that Mud's gonna have to edit out. <laughs> you want me to go back okay. to press the play? Anybody else got anything to say? Yeah, my God, it's me. yeah I essentially made my point about the DNA thing, like, mm-hmm. but. We're not basing it on percentages. We're not doing some blood quantum shit like the Native mm-hmm. Americans. We're doing something different. So, well, I guess the whole reason why they do that blood quantum shit is so they can keep us niggas out because they get to say who is Native American, who isn't. 
And that's how the white people control the tribes. Can tell you that you're not native, yeah. mm-hmm. even though we are, even though yeah. a lot of us are. Yeah. Well, let's, let's okay. Alicia, that. don't go too far, but don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, like, no, there's the black child. I'm just fucking with you. I'm just fucking with you. Yeah. So let's take a quick moment to just talk about what the standards are, based on standardarity standard for. Mm-hmm. Who was a descendant of slave in the United States? Mm-hmm. It's a descendant of U.S. chattel slavery here in the United mm-hmm. States. So number one. It is a it is a lineage. The first the first part is a two part standard. One A is the lineage standard, meaning that saying that meaning that you have one at least one slave ancestor who resided here, who was a slave here in the United States, going going back to the 1870 census is the key mark. But a lot of us can go further back than that. Okay, mm-hmm. I, I can I can I can uh, get my family back to a slave plantation in in the uh, an active slave plantation in the Carolinas. So. It is possible to go back. It just takes some time. So Sam can get to two. All right. So Same. three, okay. okay three so. and two slave masters. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I'm descendant of two slave masters for sure. And I can yeah. trace back at least three people to plant no four to plantations. There's only two family members that I can't trace to slavery. And they're from Arkansas. And Arkansas came into slavery very late. So mm-hmm. those family members never got caught up in that. But the mm-hmm. other, the light skinned side of the family was slaves, and they was from Alabama and got caught up in it. But the black, black, black motherfuckers, they ain't never been slaves. Ain't that crazy? Yeah. So, so that's a that's the first part of the standard, right? The first part of the standard is the lineage standard. You can trace your lineage back to one one slave ancestor, right? And the second part is an impact standard or a, I forget the right, right term for it, right? The standard that, you know, prove that you've been suffering from the impacts of, of uh, uh, the long-term impacts of slavery. So the bottom line for that is you have, you have on some sort of official documentation, you have um, registered as a African, I mean, African-American Negro or black, right? 12 10 to 12 years prior to the enactment of a study for reparations a federal study for reparations or a or the enactment of a of an actual reparations plan or reparations mm-hmm. legislation mm-hmm. so so let so those are the two standards all right so let's let's be and don't forget the 1870 census too yeah. like if you could track mm-hmm. your people back to the 1870 census you mm-hmm. count yeah yep so just so we're clear right so the the key is that we have to be careful we have to we can't just say everybody black because let's be clear about this right you have to have it's important to have standing for this right so as sam would say some folks that came here during the during the cosby Cosby show yeah you came here during or after the cosby show your you you started your american life here after the cosby show or your parents started their life after the here after the after jim crow after yeah, red line yeah, if you mm-hmm. came here after the fight you don't you simply do not qualify i mean that's exactly only fair. it's only fair i mean people will say that's anti-immigrant or anti-black or whatever that's nonsense right if you were if you weren't impacted you, you you just don't you have no standing I mean, it is what it is right and you, you chose to immigrate to a racist country you knew what time it was that? Yeah, my 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 uh my Twitter handle will be in the, will be in the in the description down there, so you can come at me it. seventeen trillion. Yeah, you get your feelings hurt. Okay, so I was just watching Tropic Thunder and like Tom Cruise said, "Go fuck yourself." <laughs> <laughs> All right, so well, let's let's go on. Anybody else got anything before we go on, so we can finish this five minutes? All right, let's rock. Let's see what else. Uh, Charlamagne, I'm so disappointed. I don't want. I don't draft you to be my Negro, my Negro, my Negro representative. Never. I know. Mm-hmm. Like you're just not there yet, bro. Like I said, if y'all saw me circling that shit, Thomas Kramer said that shit in 2019. Come on, it's 2021, mm-hmm. bro. Take too much money. We don't think you deserve it. Cool, give it to somebody who needs it. But to act no, like wrong. black people in this country don't deserve reparations is absolutely Whoa. nuts to me. Hey, this is what I want. Put it like this, America. Just treat black people like they're F-35 fighter jets. You had $1.7 trillion to throw at that bullshit. Throw it at the people who actually built this country. But I don't see how anybody, but again, anybody you, can dispute that. But again, <laughs> you didn't build that this country. That shit's not enough. So you what? Per, you oh, pause it. it. Pause that but shit. I'm, yeah. Uh, Mud, you had something to say first. But go ahead, Mud. You, you talk. No, I was just saying the uh, um the fighter pilot shit, the one point trillion, whatever he said, that's not enough. 
No, nope. it's not. That's that's crimes. <laughs> it's still more than Marianne Williamson's punk ass talked about. But it's that's a delay. <laughs> You I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry Karen. I'm gonna stop talking about y'all favorite Karen. I saw she was talking about our how, favorite how, Karen. How <laughs> y'all, I, get, I saw <laughs> y'all favorite Karen. I saw Jimmy Dore. I didn't watch it yet. Talking about how Joe, <gasps> how the Democrats lie. You was the one out here telling people to vote for Joe Biden. Boo boo. We see you <laughs> talk about no. We gotta, we gotta vote for Joe Biden because yeah, that girl, was you was telling yeah, us to did. eat. You was telling us to eat that five hundred billion like a thick dick. I can't fuck with you. Mm-hmm. Y'all I agree. Karen. I'm going to write that one down. Y'all That's a quote. Karen. Y'all okay, so Karen. what got me is the fact that, um, sorry, <laughs> someone just replied to one of my comments on his video. Um, the fact that he straight up told Charlemagne the God that he didn't do anything to build this, build this country, that shit, that blew me. That was so fucking insulting. It was better than when he called himself a house nigga. We'd love to have you work in the fields with us. <laughs> work in the fields? That's part of that. That's... <laughs> Senator, I'm a house nigga. <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> yeah, but like... Never forget. Another day, Another day Sam. But the... Another day. Never forget. <laughs> but... <laughs> But for him to just say that to Charlemagne the God, like I don't, I'm not a big fan of Charlemagne too much. But you gonna let that white man tell you you didn't build this country? Are you that you didn't? When labor? Donald Trump bitch ass said that we built this country, right? You gonna but you gonna let the white liberal you? racist tell you that we did it? Mm-hmm. That's what y'all Oof. get all this talking about immigrants built this country. Got y'all noses wide open, mm-hmm. and we about to come and fucking shove some salt up that shit. Wake up, bitch. <sighs> Wake up. That blew me. Continue. Let's go. Look at Charlemagne's eyes and shit. Look all he look my god. He look all yeah. pressed. He look. He all look like Cynthia <laughs> <laughs> Oh lord. Is that you? I'm, I'm saying we're, we're 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 we can't write a check to a ghost. You know why not? <laughs> why not? Because you know, the, especially when the ghost's descendants are still well, that's a descent. here. Uh, Listen, let me ask you a question. How do you right the wrong of slavery then? Well, I mean, I think reparations come in, can come in many forms. Why not? Cash is king. It's you. America. No, no, I, I, I agree. I mean, I think reparations do <clears throat> come in many forms. We should be spending <clears throat> much, much more on the schools that serve black children. Boom. First thing, education does not close the, repar- does not close the racial wealth gap, mm. period. So you can give us all the education you want. Niggas got degrees and are broke as fuck. There are people serving you Starbucks with a fucking bachelor's degree or Mm -hmm. a master's serving you fucking coffee that Mm -hmm. you're complaining about. That was me. When I graduated from getting from college, I wore fucking green apron for four years, for four years and five months. Like, and and all my customers were like, oh my gosh, you're so smart, Dr. J. You're so smart. You're so smart. You're so smart. Hell yeah, I'm smart. Why am I serving you coffee? Mm-hmm. Half the motherfuckers that were serving coffee never even had a college degree. Yeah, I mean, mm. it, that's, a, that's, a, that's a kid's job. You know what I mean? That's, that's it is. Who's, work, who's going, working their way through school or getting through high school. You know what I mean? That's a bullshit. Yeah, but, but, but uh, just, just for those of you, uh, there'll be a link in the description. What we get wrong about closing the racial wealth gap, all right? Mm-hmm. It'll dispel all that nonsense you hear with the data. Yeah, all the shit that they basically about to say, because everything they're about to say does not close the racial wealth gap. It just shows that you're some out of touch white people who have not taken any time to do any research on this. Bill Maher has always been showing his hood. He's been showing his hood for years. Bill Maher is paternalistic towards black people. He mm-hmm. wants to be a white savior and he wants Negroes to sit down and shut the fuck up. He kind of reminds me of Marianne Williamson in that front. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do for you niggas. And you're going to sit here and love me because I fuck with you niggas. What? They don't mm-hmm. fuck with niggas. Mm-hmm. I do. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, right. Nah, anybody else got anything before we move on? Um, Yeah. So what Dr. J, Dr. J described is like, you know, the main, one of the main, the biggest points that you'll find in um, what we get wrong, or what we get wrong about the racial wealth gap. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, the thing about uh, college educated, 
uh, black households having like $10,000 less than uh, households with white college dropouts. That whole no, thing. Yeah, drop, yeah that's, it's dropouts. more than that. It's more than that. Yeah, co- yeah. White college dropouts have a significant ma- amount more than black college graduates mm. with bachelors. Yeah. yeah. It's bad. Well, I mean, what she was describing is how that happens, <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. Like, just because we get the paper doesn't mean the opportunities open up for us. Mm -hmm. But what it does mean is that we usually have, like, a large debt that we have on top of everything else we got Mm -hmm. going on. And essentially, we got to find these these jobs that we could have had if we just went out of fucking high school and got a fucking job. Yep, exactly. And that's a two-year degree. Listen, so outside of white men getting their degrees, I'm talking about my high school network, right? For everybody that I like grew up with and went to high school with, the person who's doing the best is the white dude who didn't go to college and fucking is a bartender. He owns two houses. <laughs> he got a better life than every, every black person I know who I grew up with who got a college degree. He make more money. He got more assets. He able to have a wife some kids hmm. way better life than the niggas who went to college and got degrees high yeah. school graduated that's, bartender that's the hustle you know the, <laughs> it's it's you know wealth and and well getting in these networks that your parents have been cultivating for years mm-hmm. you know that no he's bar- poor white trash don't get it fucked up he yeah. ain't even got network he, no he's I'm poor white trash no he's poor white trash but he's not super poor white trash like his grandparents are greek so they had like a nice house mm-hmm. in like LA suburbs. You understand what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I don't know who ended up with the house. I don't know where that shook out because there's a lot of people in the fam. You well, understand I'm what I'm saying? saying? But mm-hmm. but yeah, but he's not like, but he's not like a network white. He's poor mm-hmm. white trash. And as yeah. poor white trash, he was still able to have a good ass mm-hmm. class wife. Yeah, and, that, and that's what I'm saying. Even as poor white trash, you know, he's no, you, we don't know how, how the relationships he's had throughout his life that were only afforded him because of his whiteness have yeah, helped him course. get to where he is. Like, who hired him to get go get that good job as a bartender? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's stuff like that. I mean, because bartenders in L.A., from what I understand, make a, make a, make a grip. So yeah, you can make a mint, especially as a white one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In and the right place. Nice, yep, good looking white boy. He's going to get some tips. <laughs> he wasn't good looking, but yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying. Mm. Mm-hmm. All mm-hmm. right, so uh, anybody else got anything before we go? Nope. Yeah, I got something else. Okay, uh, come back. All right, so this uh, thing with education, like he didn't even go into it, like being specific about like college education. So the way I took it is that he's just talking about investing in schools in black communities. Yeah, primary schools. And where are the black communities? Because my community is 60% Latino. So is, does this count as a black community or is it a Latino community? Mm. Or is it a mixed community? That's a good question. Mm. Like there's a lot of places where black people live and in a black community. I did not grow up in a black community. I grew up in the suburbs with a bunch of white people. So if I was growing up now where I grew up then, I wouldn't get shit because I don't grow up in a black community. But my mama still would have been struggling. The fuck? Mm. But more importantly, like, I thought we had Supreme Court decisions like 67 years ago that was supposed to do this for us. We're, we're supposed to speak about the resources in the school systems. Like, so since the school system isn't reparations? So you're saying giving shit to everybody isn't reparations? <laughs> what, doing? That's just being American? Yeah. I, yes, I am saying that doing the the things that you're supposed to be doing for American citizens is not a form of reparations to make up for a harm you did to American citizens. I agree. Yep. Absolutely. All right. All right. Let's 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 finish this out so we can skate out of here. You know we ain't gonna skate out of here. We got like another 30 minutes of how slow we go with this BS. <laughs> we should be spending much, much more on the infrastructure in black and in, in predominantly black communities. We should be doing all sorts of things to close the opportunity gap, which is enormous and which we've done a terrible job clo- closing. A debt is owed and that's one of the ways you repay it. Simple as that. No, fuck your opportunity. I want outcomes. Opportunity is a scam. I yeah. want equal 
outcomes. <laughs> Fuck your opportunity. You've been talking about equal opportunity since the motherfucking 60s. Fuck yeah. your opportunity. Your opportunity is bullshit. We see through you. Fuck your opportunity. I want equal outcomes. Shit, we should be doing better because we built this motherfucker. Exactly, exactly. I, I they killed equality after they killed for Hampton. No more equality. Talk to me. Mm-mm. This is equity. This is repair for Black Americans who descend from child slavery, and we. And I'm talking elevation. White people get scared. No matter if they're Republican, no matter if they're Democrat, no matter if they're progressive. When I say that Black people need to be elevated, what do you mean elevate? Elevate, elevated, motherfucker. Elevated. You killed equality after you killed our Fred Hampton. Hell, y'all killed equality after you killed King because he marked for that shit till the day he died. No more equality. You missed your mark. I want equity. Yeah, fuck your equality. I want equity. Mm-hmm. I want my yep. piece of the pie. I want my yep. cut. Equality yep. is not my cut. Yep. Our, our, it, we, we've done it. We've given to America and given and given and given and given and given. Blood, yeah. sweat, tears. Our shit's in Every the fucking day. bones of this country. Yep. Our, our, our blood and everything is right here buried in this ground. It is what it is. All right, Mud, what you got? Yeah. All right. So let me just explain what he just did, right? So I owe you, let's say this is a scenario, MG, where I owe you 10 grand. And I want my money. Go ahead. You want your money. You show up and you say, hey, mud, I need my fucking money. What's going on? Mm-hmm. And I say to you, MG, you know what? You're right. I'm going to pay you back by helping you get like a, a job interview with someone. So it's like, <laughs> yeah. so you're not even guaranteed to get the fucking job. I'm giving you an opportunity. That's how I'm going to repay you back for that 10000 that I owe you. Nah, nigga. That's what he's saying to us. That's how you get shot. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's so, just a bunch of bullshit. Like, like, we, like you guys were saying before, infrastructure, education, this is the shit the country is supposed to do for us. Right. So the country failed to do that. So fix that. But that's separate from what's owed to us. No, I, I want, I want, I want HBO to pay Bill in free college. And, <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. So, Bill. <laughs> Fuck, so that million dollars that you gave to Obama, no more giving Bill where he has a million dollars anyway. Bill, you've mm-hmm. made enough money. From now on, we're going to pay you in free college, free health care, mm-hmm. and what's that other shit they like to tell us about? Um, some 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 uh, some some cheap uh, affordable affordable housing. Yeah, some affordable housing. Mm-hmm. So from now on, Bill, that's what you get. You get a housing voucher. You get a mm-hmm. fucking, <laughs> you get some fucking free health care and you get some free college. That's what you get. We don't give you a salary no more. And none of those may be where you live. So we'll work it out. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure it out. Bill. You live in L.A. So there's only 5% Negroes in L.A. So you might have to move states if you, you might have to move to a black community to get that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and most black communities are in the Black Belt South. Yeah. So it is what it is. Sorry, Bill. <laughs> All right, fam, let's move on. We try. We got to get through this. I'm going to shut my mouth. The problem I have with the reparations conversation <clears throat> is the questions you were asking a moment ago, it's practically a non-starter. I mean, in terms of practicality. No one's going to agree on the terms. No one's going to agree exactly on the eligibility criteria. Nobody's going to agree on the amount. And it's politically very unpopular. And while we're talking about something that I don't think is passable, and that's why Obama didn't talk about it. Well why is it not office, passable, though? What? Why is it not passable? Look at public opinion polls. It's just not going to get done. And, right, and that's... Yeah. Public <laughs> opinion polls have been shifting. They have shifted remarkably over the last three to five years. Faster than gay marriage. Yep, faster than gay marriage. Think about that. Reparations is shifting faster than gay marriage. That's number one. Number two, when something for something to pass Congress, popularity means absolutely fucking nothing. Speak on That's it. Right. Popularity doesn't mean shit for stuff. How popular? How? When did they pull? When did they pull us about paying the Jews reparations when Obama was in office? Nobody called my fucking phone and asked me for a fucking poll about that shit. Nope. It happened. It passed. I found out about it years later. Yeah, and and think about and think about. Let's, let's my tax about money it. was paid, and and I'm not going to tell the government, "Fuck you, I'm not paying my taxes." Mm-hmm. And if you don't like, for all white people who don't want to pay reparations because they feel some type of way, please 
do not pay your taxes. <laughs> See how that works out for you. Yeah. So, so I mean, I hope they Wesley Snipes that ass. So we we spend <laughs> most of, we spend most of our shows bashing leftists, and they deserve every bit of it, and they're going to get more. So I'm not, this is not an apology of any sort. Because more coming, right? So if we think about all the shit that they've been screaming about for the last five, six, seven years, we talk about Medicare for all, something like seventy five percent. UBI mm-hmm. is over fifty percent. You know, uh, what's uh, Medicare for all? UBI, fifteen dollar minimum wage. That's through the roof as far as as far as uh, popularity is concerned, or far as what the polls say, right? Green New Deal. Green New Deal. All that shit is popular, but it's not passing. But shit that is passing has horrible popularity. Who who mm-hmm. who wanted tax cuts for the rich? Who who signed mm-hmm. up for that? Right. So all that. Fuck all that bullshit. He do it. This is just excuses not to do do what's right. And the uh, fact that go ahead. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead, no, Dr. J. I'm sorry. Go ahead. And the fact that this white guy is so calm about saying, oh, it's not gonna happen. My thing is, oh, I want to get by the end of this year, I want white folks to be nervous to say some shit like that to any black person. We're not gonna take it. <laughs> no, exactly. Yeah. I, and yeah. It's, so by, mm-hmm. by December of 2021, if a white person say, hey, I don't think reparations, I, I disagree with reparations, I have a problem, I I want them to be scared. I want them to, I want <laughs> that shit to be like, I want to throw out with some baby powder. said the N-word. I'm going to twist it. But I think, but honestly, I think we're getting there again. Listen mm-hmm. to how, listen to how, um, how the the audience is reacting to this guy and what Bill's saying versus what how they're reacting to, to what, um, to what Charlemagne says. Right? We have to be, we have to be, we have to see these things as honestly. This is a huge change of pace, right? This true. Is huge... That is true. Yeah. This is this Bill is... Mars' audience is better than Bill, but Bill is at best a centrist. Yeah, but I, 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 I'm not, but again, but you, you guys know my philosophy. These kind of interactions aren't about who's talking; it's about who's listening. No, I agree. Right? I agree. So, hey, listen, mm-hmm. we file. They talk about reparations on real time with Bill Maher, so we have arrived. We, yeah. we, have <laughs> we, we are work. somebody. <laughs> if you think about it, when we started doing yeah. this work all these years ago, nobody was talking about reparations. Yeah. So. Yeah. And we and and uh, just a, uh, just a quick uh, kudos for to Mud. Mud started a room uh, in Clubhouse today. Well, this is uh, well, you we don't need to know the date, but Mud had a Clubhouse room today, and we were talking about we were talking about talking about this particular uh, video, and people a, a couple of a couple of Black Republicans came there talking about they they got flipped on reparations. You know, so this is we're we're moving some things here. We're moving some things, and some people who were in that room had did not had not been talking about reparations or had, didn't know the facts and the data about it. They were like, "Oh wow, this is this is totally different than what I thought it was going to be." Once you start talking about it, and which is why I think people have been always fought to keep it keep this discussion down, mm-hmm. right? At, at the cost of people's lives, is because it's it's hard to ref- it's impossible to refute. It's impossible yeah. to refute, and procrastination doesn't clear you of of fucking people over. It never has, exactly. and it never will, it never will. And and I know this sounds odd, but I think strangely enough, Candace Owens is going to get on this. Yeah. I know it sounds funny, uh-huh. but I think she's going to say yes to the reparations. I think she's going to. I know it sounds I, odd, thing. but for, for but, but the, the crazy thing is for right wingers. This is an end around that they, this is the end around they've been looking for to undermine the black folks for the Republican for the Democrats. This is the mm-hmm. this is their end around. This is their what is that annexation of Puerto Rico from the Little Giants? I don't know if y'all saw that movie. This mm-hmm. is this is their play. It's that it was a, a crazy trick play. Is it, never mind. We're talking about this much time. But this is the play that they need to flip the script on on the Democrats, right? Mm-hmm. And they're authoritarians. If their leadership accepts it. It's a wrap. Oh yeah, it is. It is an absolute wrap. Twenty twenty two is gonna be a bloodbath. Oh, it absolutely is. It absolutely is. And I, I, yeah, we'll talk about that later. All right, and, Mud, what you got, man? Yeah, we should talk about it now. They took off that extra hundred dollars for the unemployment. They won't do fifteen dollars an hour minimum wage. They slashed the fucking uh, stimulus check. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm waiting for the red. Who else is waiting for the red wedding? <laughs> I went for the red 
wedding for 2024. I'm going to be sitting there listening to the winds of Castamere. <laughs> I'm going to be reading the play <laughs> Macbeth. <laughs> All right. I'm going to have my Tyrion mask on. <laughs> yeah, with, my fucking, with, the fucking, with the fucking shit to block the arrows and shit. Yeah, so yeah. this thing about to be ugly. It's going to get ugly. Yes, sir. <laughs> what you got, Mud? Oh, did you say something? I'm, I'm old. Yeah, I, I went for shit. I just want to echo your point about how, you know, Republicans could really just wrap this whole thing up and make this like a, you know, a one party system if they, they get on the reparations thing. Because really, that's if the Democrats lose the black vote, there's nothing for them. Like they, they have that's no options. <laughs> they have no options. And honestly, like, you're going to see some wild shit if they, if they flip like that, because there's nothing that white people love more than arguing with other white people about how they're not the racist. So mm-hmm. conservatives will have a fucking field day with this shit if they oh, really got on board. So hard. Oh, my God. And since Republicans fight anyway, the Democratic Party, they don't fight. They so they're in this invisible compromise. Nigga, we passed that compromise shit since the fucking 19th century hole. Y'all late. Mm-hmm. These motherfuckers are flight, fighting with knives, guns, pitch for, like they, they no, don't they're care. They're not compromising. They all on the same team. How are you going to compromise when y'all on the same team? Right. <laughs> it's invisible. Like, so, so we compromise because we like the same shit. Mm-hmm. Like... We're not compromising on any differences. It's just different degrees. Like, do you want chimichurri with that steak or do you want some A1? <laughs> yeah, invisible compromise. Mm, yeah. All right, family, let's move on. We're almost done. We're getting there. We're over halfway. It's not about the merits. That's about the appeal out there. And in the meantime, there is so much we can and should be doing that could be called reparations about the debt we owe. Well, let's change the name. Call it economic equity packages. Whatever well, I mean, it is. He's, he's on point on that one. He is on point on that one. As economic equity, it is not reparations. Go ahead. Exactly, because what you're recommending is not a reparations package. And he's saying I mean, it with that's... his chest. Kudos for saying it with his chest. Yeah, right, but okay. Charlemagne's not smart enough. That's not what he meant by that. No, yeah, it's, but, not. it's not. What, what you're right. saying, what you're saying, and identified it as, is not what Charlemagne meant. Charlemagne Stop. is backing up like a bitch right now. Exactly. Oh, exactly. bitches! As, as, uh, as uh, he said, uh, you, you could say Obamacare, which which helped black and brown people way more than white people. Oh, God. All people can sign up for Obamacare, but that is the no. practical effect of it. Is a form of reparations. So how is reparations some shit that you give to everybody? Oh, let me and try. why did he say black and brown? We ain't talking black and brown. We're talking black folk. Why did he slip that in that shit? Obamacare that was given to everybody is reparations. Reparations is a payment paid due to a harm done to a specific set of people. If you give it to everybody, it's not reparations. So what the fuck right. are you talking about, Bill? But I think part, exactly. of, the point, part, of, the, part of the point is here what this whole black and brown BIPOC uh, POC mm. all that language is trying to put this reparations genie back in the fucking bottle this is all this black mm-hmm. with the way Bill is framing it here he's trying to put this conversation back in that fucking bottle but it don't fit no more it don't fit no more and they are they know this is a struggle going to try and put this back in the bottle and that I mean they may at the end they may succeed but I doubt it. I'm not saying we don't get reparations tomorrow, but this this discussion is not going away anytime soon, and we're going to make sure it doesn't go away. Anybody mm-hmm. else got anything? No, nah, go ahead. I need a stiff drink. That's what I got. <laughs> All right. All right. But you're good. I'm a solid yeah, I'm bottle good. in. So, All right, Sam, let's go. <laughs> I got something for Bill, but I'm going to save it. <laughs> Uh, you know, I mean, there's a tax that everybody pays. It, I don't think it's capped. You, you know, rich people pay more. Those kind of solutions are different. I mean, can I listen to me what Glenn Larry says? He says, okay. it frames the moral claims African Americans legitimately have in the wrong way. Time out. The idea oh, this stop. debt can be paid is it. Regardless of what he says, Glenn Lowry is a black conservative. Right? He may yes. say he, 
he may say that he's a centrist or or something else. He is a black conservative. There's no way to get around it. And Mud My was whole- kind. Mud was kind enough of, of to point out a discussion, and we'll put we'll put the link in the in the uh, in the description. A discussion between Glenn Lowry and and uh, and Dr. Sandy Darity. So if you know who Glenn Lowry is, you can easily find Dr. Sandy Darity there, Bill. With your punk ass. Bill ain't trying to find nothing. <laughs> Bill out here dancing for his supper like everybody else. Like I said, from now on, Bill, HBO next contract, don't pay Bill shit. Give his ass some free fucking college. Give that bitch some clear heels and tell him to get on so let's say you know, that whole mm-hmm. <laughs> So you can use that free college. So why you waiting for that? You got to because <laughs> free college, you still got to pay for other shit while you in school, right? You still got to eat. Clear heels. So... <laughs> So let Bill get let Bill go get some free college and get out here some clear heels and work that extra money off so he can be okay while he in school. Use what you got to get what you want. That's what we talk. Because you can eat these college degrees, right? They tasty as fuck with some barbecue sauce. Mm-hmm. You can feed kids with them too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. J, what you got? I just I'm so sick of mediocre white people. He's a mediocre as fuck white person. Mm-hmm. I'm sick of them. They get on my fu- yeah. like they get on my nerves. <laughs> but what you got? Can I listen to me? But yeah, I'm, shit, I didn't really have much to say. Like Glenn Lowry is definitely a, a black conservative, and <clears throat> he's one of these black conservatives that white people of all all over the spectrum lean on because they, he gives them an out as far as dealing mm-hmm. with rape issues. Yeah. You know, they they have these motherfuckers all over the place. I think Glenn Lowry is an economist, right, Uh, Mike? I think so. I think so. I'm not sure, but I think so. Yeah, so he's like the new version of Thomas Sowell. uh, Mm -hmm. That's the name that was coming up in my head when we we talked about this. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, the game that both of these motherfuckers play as far as when it comes to discussions like this, is that you never actually hear them talk about economic shit. No, nope. it all becomes about like like culture, and they turn mm-hmm. into anthropologists all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sociologists, yep. So, like, yeah. So they're not basically they start discussing shit that's not even within their expertise, and that's why you know it's a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. Agreed. All right, I'm gonna play some more. Mm-hmm. Glenn Larry says, he says okay. it frames the moral claims African Americans legitimately have in the wrong way. The idea this debt can be paid is a terrible idea. Money uh, talks. His, bitch. Here's the thing. Once again, it's white people not wanting to be held accountable. Well, that's a black person. Well, oh, he's okay. A black person. Glenn said Lowry that. said this. Okay, what's his name? Glenn Lowry. You know. Glenn okay. Lowry. Uh, well, I just think that it's a debt cause. that is old. Go ahead, Mike. Go ahead, Go ahead Mike. Glenn yeah. Lowry. Glenn, Glenn Lowry, he's a professor at Harvard of economics. Go ahead. Yeah. So this is this is also like, uh, I mean, he's he's playing a gotcha game with uh, Charlemagne, and you know Charlemagne fell into it. And mm-hmm. Whatever you know, it's, it is with that. But um, you yeah. notice how that quote from Glenn Lowry, like I said, wasn't about anything involving economics. Like, it was just his general opinion about Black people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So why are we quoting this? Mo- like, they never quote these motherfuckers on the discussion of uh, reparations in a way where, where they're breaking down the numbers on whether or not this can happen. Actually, I would look forward to seeing, like, if an economist could come up with a reason why we couldn't do this because of the money and because of the math of it. Like, that's the thing that they should be showing us. But they just go off the assumption that it can't be done. And, you know, based on what we've seen with Darity, Thomas Kramer, and what we know about MMT, like, this shit can be done. There's, there's no excuse. None. No, None. No, there, there is no, as Dr. J alluded to earlier, there, there is no argument against reparation. There is no viable argument against reparations other than uh, public opinion about Negroes. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's not a viable it. argument, but that's what they lean on. And the simple fact that, that white people don't want us having money. Mm-hmm. 
They don't yeah. want us with money in our hands. I don't even think that it's that they don't want us to have money. It's that they're used to seeing us being poor. So they feel like that's our mm. natural state. Yeah, but also I think because because uh, Irony has spoken about this before. He said he said something that really stuck with me. Obviously, is that the the one of the the one of the biggest privileges of whiteness is being able to curate the black folks you can be around. True. Right. <laughs> so mm. if we get money, that that b- ability to curate your your the black people around you, <laughs> curate the black folks in your spaces, that that dis- that disappears in a blink of an eye. Right. Because yeah, right that, now, yes. money I money is rep- how they curate us now. Right. See, I see reparations as us. I see a lot of us going and doing our own thing. I really do. Yeah, that's true. But I'm talking about uh-huh. how, how white folks view it, right? I can't. Keep yeah, because they think that they, can they the think house. that we think their their ice is colder, and we don't. We'd yeah. really like our own goddamn ice machine in our own goddamn house in our own goddamn city without being bothered. Just yeah, but, it, but but I mean, but the reality. I mean, we talk we said we talk about cold ice, but the reality is, if we want clean water. We got to be where the white folks are. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Not after want... reparations. Yeah. That's yeah, what I'm after, saying. Yeah, yeah. Not after reparations, but I'm saying I'm saying in general, I'm not uh, not going against what you're saying, but I'm talking about in general terms is that if 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 right at this current time, the way America is, you're better. You have a better chance of drinking <clears> clean water if you're in a white community. You have a better chance mm-hmm. of having a decent school if you're in a white Preach. community. Right. So they they think that they, they they're keeping us out now by because of wealth. Right. Not even income mm-hmm. is out of it. Wealth is what's keeping us out of their communities. Right. So if that disappears as their their leverage to keep us out of those communities, what's left for them to use beyond violence? Right. And policing. That's the other one that keeps, keeps us out of their communities. Right. Then they'll use violence and policing. Yeah. yeah and that's what I'm saying. That, that's all they have to keep us out. And that that gets them into a space where we're talking about legal action. Right. But I'm just mm-hmm. saying we, we they. they if they, once they lose the ability, to, they feel part of their privilege is the ability to curate black folks in their spaces. And once we have wealth, they can't do it this easily. Just want to put that. That's that's my view. All right. And it's actually Irony's view that he put in my head. <laughs> All right. Legal right, action. When courts gonna start saving Negroes from white people. <laughs> but what you got, man? He don't want to talk to us. Dr. J, what you got? Mm. Oh, go ahead, Mud. Go ahead. Nah, go ahead and let Dr. J. I don't really have much. To no, say. no, I don't have. Oh, any let's let's rock a little bit further so we can get through this because we're almost through it. We're almost done. Well, I just think that it's a debt that is owed to Black people Fuck in America. Man. Simple. And I, I'll ask the question: If y'all don't think it should be cash, what should it be? If y'all don't think it should be, if there should be any reparations to Black people, All what right. should it be? All right. So, no, I want to know: Do you think that Black people should get reparations? I think it should be more like what. Frank and I are saying different, okay. uh, not, not a yeah, check. I'm, no, I'm I glad think he held it, it should be there. done more by class. I mean, 21 percent of blacks are below the poverty line. So, so why that does means he we're that giving most black people are checks to 80 percent of people who are not in poverty. I, shouldn't it better be done that if we're going to pass I, I, out I, I, money? It's like what I was starting the show with. We're going to pass out money. I'm going to come back to this bullshit that he's about to say right here. Let's talk about Bill's thing, right? Where he talks about only 20 percent of black people are in poverty. The poverty line is like, first of all, you're not talking about wealth. You're talking about income. Because if you start talking about income, 50 percent of black people are worth less than a dollar. So if we're talking about wealth. So Bill is talking about income. So he's playing a game right then and there. So 20% of black people are below the poverty line in income, not in wealth. Income, which means a bunch of black people know how to scrape with two incomes to get over a certain amount of money. But for you to be over the poverty line, what do you have to make? Like $18,000 and it puts you over the poverty line? 13, 13. So the poverty line is some bullshit. White people... Live off thirteen thousand dollars for a year and holla at me, and we can have this conversation about the poverty. <laughs> I'm just saying. So yeah. that part is some some straight bullshit that that Bill is talking about. And again, he's talking about wealth, not income. When you start talking about wealth, white people have more money than black people at every level. So if you start doing class shit, it will affect blacks more than whites. You not talking about doing anything. You are full of shit. Like, this is just a straw man. You just throwing shit out there and seeing what sticks to make it sound good. But we know the arguments and we know the data. And Bill, your bitch ass didn't even take no time to do no research to do your fucking show. Like, you need better fucking people on your show. He's lazy. Mediocre. 
He talked to Glenn Lowry. I mean, good. He's lazy and mediocre. <laughs> Fuck out of here, He's lazy and mediocre. I no. I can't read. Shit. I mean, here's the thing with Bill Maher, right? If this were any other time or any other topic of discussion where he had to bring up stats about uh, essentially, you know, uh, the social economic situation of black people and how, you know, we're on the bottom in every fucking respect. You would, it, it would be a long list of shit that he'd be pulling out of his fucking ass. But because he's on this reparations discussion, he only wants to pull out this one stat about fucking like being above the poverty line, which is nothing. For 13, income. For income. Yeah. yeah. And, like and if, 13, he, if he wanted an economist to talk to, he'd have called, he'd have called Bob Reich. That's who he would have called. He wouldn't have called Glenn Larry. He would have never called a conservative co- economist to get an answer on anything except this issue. Glenn and why not reach out to an economist who actually does shit on reparations? Yeah, exactly. If it's a reparations segment, right? Like, go fuck yourself, Bill. Like I said, I've been stopped watching your corny ass show. And uh, it was because I saw your hood a long time ago. And it is what it is. And I don't know a lot of black people who really about this work who pay attention to Bill Maher. Like he a whole, he damn near a fucking Republican. Mm-hmm. He a centrist at best. At best. Fuck him. All right, oh. Dr. J, you got anything? With a sick dick. No, I'm good. All right, let's go. We only we only got 44 seconds left. <laughs> Yes. Absolutely. Well, is, is a one-time check going to change a life as much as a real investment in education, as right. much as a real investment in young people's social programs? I think. It's I mean, I, I think a debt is owed, and I have no problem. Education paying is it not closed. Racial wealth gap. Where yet. the money goes to help the most number of people the quickest. Yeah, I think it should be all of that simply because there is really no price point that you could put. Education is not quick. Slavery. Like none. Like wait, there's wait, no pause number it? you can put on what pause. my ancestors went through in this country. Girl, oh, oh. Sorry, just slow. It's it's lagging, but go ahead. So he made a point about how it would help people the quickest. There's nothing yes. that's going to help people more, quicker than fucking money. Yeah. That, right. Right. But in, now you in poverty to go to is money. For yeah. four years and be broke. <laughs> you got to go to school for four years and be broke and then spend three years trying to get a decent fucking career so you can make some money. Immediate cash. So again, the government is about to send out $1,400 checks to all Americans. Why don't mm-hmm. you send them some job training and some free education <laughs> and tell them to shut the fuck up? I'm just saying. Because there, were, because there would be riots all over the fucking country. And there should be. But I'm not encouraging that shit because I'll be watching that shit at home because I get out <laughs> there with you, motherfucker. <laughs> I believe in a general strike where everybody stays the fuck home and safe. <laughs> all right anybody else got anything, anything else we move on to this can... last few seconds all right i'm playing then oh that was it oh that was it <laughs> so right, charlemagne got... charlemagne we need you to, charlemagne. to go and find the article from thomas kramer uh mud make sure you put the article up there because you know he's lazy so so he'll be able to find it so next oh. time some white person says some stupid ass shit, talk about how their ancestors didn't own no slaves and they don't owe us no money, he'll know what to say because mm. you need some help. You let Bill Maher get away with a bunch of bullshit. You let these white people talk about education. We already know that education doesn't close the racial wealth gap. Like black people have educations and we still have less wealth than white college, I mean, than white high school fucking dropouts. So why do we get education and white people get stimulus checks? I'm just saying, this is not the answer. Bill Maher, I've been seeing your hood. That's why I've been stopped watching your show. I even made a point to drop that I see your hood in the comment section. So mm-hmm. that's how I feel. See, look, pulled out, look, pulled out his hood for this one. <laughs> You know what I'm yeah. <laughs> So fuck Bill Maher. Mm. Fuck Bill Maher 100 percent Yeah. L- l- and, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. L- l- let me let me address something that always comes up and it was in those comments you just brought up. People oft- often ask about Native Americans. They should be taken care of first with they were harmed more, la la la. Two quick things. 
their issues are already being addressed and have been have been have been the they they have, they are being addressed and they have been started the address has been started for decades right mm -hmm. they get money every time there's a bill a bill a bill crosses the table every time there's a big budget they get something right and they also own slaves right so let's get beyond that and talk about our issues this is the reparations for american descendants of slaves or descendants of chattel slavery freedmen whatever you want to call us this mm -hmm. is the issue stop going in other directions dr j what you got no jay before you go fuck this julian t dude in the comments this motherfucker says that the great society <laughs> program disproportionately benefited disadvantaged uh, disproportionately di benefited blacks that's a fucking lie this shit have helped you motherfucking white people more than it helped us the great mm -hmm. society are you serious yeah. yeah. Fuck that dude. Yeah, that, that's that's a step. That, no, I just society. like being the comments though, because we, I wish John was here because John would dismantle this shit. Damn, yeah, John, I'm, I'm in the comments. I, I yeah. said something in the comments. Yeah, but I mean the, the great society stuff, that's a that's a standard, that's a standard uh right right wing talking point, right? We're we're way beyond that now. We're way beyond that. We had the data, fuck them dudes. What else you got, Dr. J? Well, I just my closing is that this whole thing pissed me off. Period. Um, yeah, uh, uh, these arguments that Bill Maher and his white counterpart had are lazy. Lazy. Um, lazy, lazy. If I were Charlemagne, I would have had a, a big ass bag of books and I would have thrown them. I would have woke up and chose violence that day and I would have yeah. thrown it upside it. Bill Maher's head as well as the it's white voice next violence. to me. You know, Bill said he's mm. a house nigga. You should have showed him what them house niggas would get <laughs> when they got out alive in the field. Mm -hmm. mm. So, yeah, that's that That was me. That was my whole energy. I kept that same energy watching this whole thing. So, right. yeah, I'm tired of Bill Maher. He mediocre Bill as Mar fuck. Been, that's why he had Bill Maher been done for me. Fuck him. His show is for, I don't know who the fuck watches this show anymore. It ain't liberals. And I'm, I don't even fuck with them motherfuckers like that. But this shit is... Wow. Yeah. I yeah. stopped watching him after the whole um, Flint, Michigan thing, and he was like, well, Obama can't really do anything. After that shit, I was like, yeah, I'm done with this motherfucker. Fuck Bill. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry, Doc J, you done? No, yes, I am. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Mud, what you got? Yeah, uh, Bill Maher, he is an old white leftist, and, like, he thinks he still is hip, but, like, something is going on with the kids and, and they're crazy. And what you're seeing is, is a reaction of an old leftist realizing that time has passed them by and they're trying to just hold on to things that seem familiar. So he's fighting these old fights that he remembers white people fighting back in his day. Charlemagne, oh Charlemagne! <laughs> like it's depressing because, like Charlemagne, he comes across like a motherfucker who, who, who you would think would try to show up in this situation prepared to have this discussion. This was him prepared. Remember when he started? Go ahead, man. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, you didn't even think that there was going to be any pushback on this show. Like, it seemed like he didn't even, he didn't even prepare for that. Like, he didn't even think that was a possibility. Because he thought this white liberal racist was going to be on his side. Yeah. That's a possibility, yeah. That's a possibility. Sad. But it's, it's still, it's like, yeah, look, look, if if I'm going to go on TV and I'm going to talk about reparations, I'm going to at least Google the motherfucking word. And I'm going to look at times that other motherfuckers receive reparations. Like just off of that alone, he would, he should have been able to like get through this thing looking decent, but he just looked like a, like a, a, a fucking like a kid being taught a lesson. Straight novice. Yeah. He did. Yeah. And he he was he was on the winning side. I don't understand how he fumbled so hard. He I don't get son. it. He got this, son for real. 
but this is what like Malcolm X meant about how like you know we shouldn't have not black leaders. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we shouldn't have celebrities in these positions because they're not equipped. They're not equipped. Yeah, they're especially not equipped for to all these the years. Shit. For all these years, Charlemagne's been in this space. He still don't know enough. I just told you a little while ago. These leaders that they call leaders. This included Lena Horne. This included Dick Gregory, and this included comedians, comics, trumpet players, baseball players. Show me in the white community where a comedian is a white leader. Show me in the white community where a singer is a white leader, or a dancer or a trumpet player is a white leader. These aren't leaders. These are puppets and clowns that uh, have been set up over the white community and or over the black community by the white community and have been made celebrities and usually say exactly what uh, they know that the white man wants to hear. Like I said, this Thomas Kramer shit, that shit came out at the end of 2019. So this shit came out 20 months ago. You don't, you still don't know how to answer those questions. Yeah. Thomas Kramer has the perfect answer. And you can be like, well, economist, a German economist, aren't you Jewish, Bill? A German economist says, da, 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 you know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. Yeah. And then, I mean, like, like well, here's the thing. Charlemagne came out in support of reparations during the like the primaries and all that shit. So did he not do any form of research at any point in time from then to now? He did. He he did research watching Yvette's show. <laughs> like Yvette, Yvette gave him or would have given him better arguments than this if he's really well, watching. He's lazy show. though. I didn't say he watched a lot of episodes. <laughs> <laughs> he watched enough to get the cliff notes don't he look like a cliff notes version ass I was about to say you? this, this, this yeah. is like that nigga that never did his homework that's what he looks like which was also me just did you read the book <laughs> what was it about <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah that's, you good mud yeah I'm good Sam what you got that's it this shit was some bullshit Bill stays you know I'm not surprised that Bill's out here shaking policies that have been already been debunked. What we get wrong about closing the racial wealth gap came out like in 2019 Mm -hmm. for white people out here who listen to us. All these arguments that people are bringing up have already been debunked by economists, by people who have degrees, by people who do this research and who've been doing this research for 20, 30 years. So instead of listening to idiot ass comedians and dumb ass disc jockeys, like go and take some time to do some reading. And if you're going to listen to some dumbass pothead comedian, listen to Jimmy Dore, not bitch ass Bill Maher. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. it. Dr. J, you got, you got any final thoughts? Well, to all y'all progressives who want that $15 minimum wage and who want the UBI and all that jazz, you're not going to get it until it also Black Americans who listen from slavery receive our reparations. We gonna Straight all up. be niggas today. Till you do Straight right up. by us, everything you touch will crumble. Just exactly. like the color purple. I, I put out a tweet yesterday. I'm on some other shit at this point. It's either reparations or Republican hellscape. Those are your choices. Reparations or what? Republican, Republican what? hellscape. Republican hellscape. Oh. Oh, I'm mm-hmm. not mad at it. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I, yeah, that's where that's where a lot of us are now. Fuck it. I said mm-hmm. I'm ready not to be a, I'm, I'm ready not to, to be a rich housewife. I'm, re- I'm ready to vote Republican. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Try me. All right. So, all right. So I guess it's my final thoughts. Beyond that, beyond the Republican Hell's Gate, I, I I I'm going to be the iconoclast because I'm an old guy, I guess. But I Very must old. say I have to give. While Charlemagne was short on facts. He was good on passion. He mm-hmm. he was good on. That's the problem with niggas, though. I'm sorry, Ng. I hate to cut you out, cut uh-huh. cut in on you though. But I done <laughs> spent a lot of time with us niggas over the past year, and I'm uh-huh. sorry. Just like on Boondocks, and he's like, I mean, I know you don't want to be niggas, but a lot of y'all are niggas, niggers. <laughs> so listen, I done spent the past like 18 months with a lot of these niggas. Mm-hmm. We are too passionate and emotional without enough fucking facts. Mm-hmm. When you step into a space with a bunch of white people on a national TV show, fuck your feelings, fuck your passion. Yeah. I need you to come with your fucking facts because white people don't fucking care about emotions, passion, or fucking feelings unless you're tap dancing or singing a goddamn song. Outside of that, they don't give a fuck about it. 
Well, it all you depends on what song you sing in. Look at what they did to Billy Holiday. Yeah, so if you but, sing in yeah. songs, I was going on. But we all agree he was short on facts, right? We all yes, no question. We all agree after that two thing. years. This yeah, nigga agreed. been this nigga has inserted his face into the fucking reparations yeah. face since 2019. You gotta do better, Charlemagne. You gotta he do does. better. He definitely has to do better. But all I'm saying is what let me show what, like Tyra. I was rooting for you. <laughs> <laughs> but what but what he said, he said it with his chest, right? He he could he could have there's a whole chest. bunch of ways he could have won this argument hands He's down. Bird chest. <laughs> but I, I'm, a, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get. He, yeah, he uses bird chest. He, had, he used what he got, right? <laughs> we all know he looks like that nigga in school that never did his homework, right? <laughs> he looks like that dude, the one that never did his, especially with this look on his face he has now. He, he looks like that bug eyed, like yeah, Mel yeah. Virgin, Cynthia Erivo, bug yeah, eyed. He, he never did his homework. He was always looking at everybody else's paper when it was time for a quiz. We know he's that dude, and that's why he was selected for where he is right now, right? Yeah, that's the face, right? Matter of fact, that's the face I'm gonna clip and put on the <laughs> on, the, on the on the what do you call it, right? That look on his face says it all, right? The look on his face, yeah, damn, I got caught out there, right? Will he do better next time? Likely not, unless somebody, 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 somebody quietly send this to Charlemagne because you know mm -hmm. he's gonna be mad about it in public, but yeah, in private yeah. he'll steal the talking points. That's all we want. I don't care. Yeah, exactly. And I don't care. I just want you to fucking do better, nigga. Yeah, Damn, and, I said nigga like got, 80 times. I said me <laughs> and John's niggas for this video. <laughs> And we and we also have to, you know, we're, we're gonna put links to the to the to the right information in the in the description. Oops. Hopefully he'll listen. If he doesn't listen, maybe somebody else will see this and say, "Damn, Charlotte, ain't fucked up. Where can I find the right data?" The information will be there. Uh, it's all, right. all right, family. Anybody, anybody? Last, last, last of the last. What you got? And we so we can get out of here. Shit, I'm old and I'm sleepy. Shit. Omar sucks. Huh? Water is wet. Yeah, yeah, fuck the sky way. is blue <laughs> and Charlemagne you need to research hmm. research your research. research I don't know research, like research. I said when I every time I listen to Bill Maher talk I feel like that was that the green video they were what we thought they were I've been known that Bill Maher was a white liberal racist mm -hmm. or maybe let me not call him a white liberal racist he's a white liberal anti-black motherfucker he's anti-black American he's paternalistic he always wants to tell black people what they deserve what they should and should not get He's a benevolent, he's benevolent to the Negroes, but the Negroes aren't allowed to tell them, tell him what we want and what we demand. So fuck Bill Maher. Fuck Marianne Williamson, because I feel the same way about her. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she always, Mary yeah. always gets shrapnel. She ain't even here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, listen, I'm going to go through her video with Jimmy Dore. We may have to do her ass too, just so I can fucking drag her ass. Like, don't talk bad about Biden now when you told motherfuckers to vote for him. You was also vote yeah. for no matter who shit. So fuck you too. Mm. Sorry, yeah. Karen. I, are we going to have to also go with, with you? Uh, <laughs> are we also going to have to dr drag our uncle? Um, well, I don't know. I, I always think he's uncle in my head. Um, Cornel West. Was, no, not Cornel West. The other guy that's like Cornel. Dr. Eddie Gloyd Jr. Eddie yeah. Oh, what did what did what did he do now? He what always doing something. Eddie, so he, I, I, he, my uncle in my head, but like, he also told us to vote for Biden, and now he's like, mm, Biden's failing. Like, I that's, could have told you that's, that he's that's failing. A, that's the cost. Biden of told you that was going to change. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, like so these, you know, y'all did what y'all had to do, so y'all could stay out here being Negro whisperers and getting checks. So mm -hmm. don't come back and tell us some shit now, because. When the midterms that come, you're gonna be talking about how we need to vote for the Democrats, and in 2024, you're gonna be telling us how we need to vote you for them again when shit. they ain't promising mm -hmm. shit. So y'all need to just leave me alone because I'm tired of it. I'm just waiting mm -hmm. for the people to stand up and stay home and be like, "Fuck this shit." Like I said, I want to see a general strike. I want to see millions mm -hmm. of people stay home and bankrupt the economy from the safety of their house. I want everybody to pull out those those old, you know, the old zip things that you got the DVDs in. You know, you got all your old DVDs. I need everybody oh, to pull yes. out the old case. Yeah. I need to pull out a DVD player. And for those mm. of us who ain't got one, you got to use your damn computer. 
and everybody mm-hmm. just sit and watch videos for a whole week. Don't answer no phone. Don't watch no real TV. Don't go to work. Fuck this shit. Mm-hmm. And do that shit for a whole week. This economy will be bankrupt. They'll be knocking. What do you guys need? And what, don't what, not, and don't what? buy shit from Amazon. Yeah. Don't no. Literally, just sit home and don't do shit. Like I said, mm-hmm. you can't even watch TV. You can't even watch Netflix. That's why I said you got to pull out the mm-hmm. old fucking CD case with all them old fucking DVDs Man, you, you ain't watched in forever. Shit. No Netflix. All right. No all right, Netflix. Family. No, you can't watch shit. You gotta, <laughs> like I said, that's why you need that old DVD case. Everybody got one. Y'all don't watch that shit. My DVD case collecting dust. All Mine right. too. But, all right. All right. I'm, I'm gonna shut this shit down. All right. <laughs> Let me say okay. goodbye to the people and y'all can keep talking. <laughs> There's some food. All, right. <laughs> 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 all right. Here we go. All right. Thank you for watching Reset Race. Please show me face. Huh? <laughs> All right, it's Charlamagne Face. All right, so, so thanks for watching or listening and whatever you're doing to reset race. Uh, thanks for thanks for uh, and be sure to share, like, subscribe, and share. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Tell all your friends to subscribe. I wish I could say the word fast. Um, uh, thank you very much, Doctor J, for sitting in with us. Um, um, again. Uh, again, yeah, well, you're always welcome. And also, I like to wish John good luck in his in his finals this week. Um, uh, and bless you all. And we'll talk to y'all soon. Listening to Reset Race, you now tuned in to Reset Race. Uh, uh, you're listening to Reset Race, you now tuned in to Reset Race. Put them back on the grill again, we grilling them. Put them back on the grill again, we grilling them. Put them back on the grill again, we grilling them. Back on the grill again, we grilling them. Uh, you're listening to Reset Race. Adults need reparations to make America great. Uh, you're tuned in to reset race. We no longer starving while others eat off our plate. No, you're listening to reset race. We focused on our justice claim. We know what is at stake. Uh, you're tuned in to reset race. You find out we really done justice and really who think. On the edge, go back to U.S. Southern plantations. Pennies, Jim Crow, and mass incarceration. Redline and lynchings. We are old from this nation. You're not about justice if you ain't for reparations. MG, the wise one. Cousin mother, intellect. Smith the bring fire and top black we pressing you. No permanent friends and no permanent enemies. The backbone of the country the win. You need our energy. You gon' see. Listening to reset race. You now tuned in the reset race. Uh uh. You're listening to reset race. You now tuned in the reset race. Uh put them back on the grill again. We grilling them, put them back on the grill again. We grilling them, put them back on the grill again. We grilling them, back on the grill again. We grilling them, uh. You're listening to Reset Race. Adults need reparations to make America great. Uh. You're tuned in to Reset Race. We no longer starving while others eat off our plate. No. You're listening to Reset Race. We focused on our justice claim. We know what is at stake. Uh. You're tuned in to Reset Race. You find out we really about justice and really who fake. Uh. Until you do right by me, everything you think about is going to crumble.
Congress, our government was giving away millions of acres of land in the West and the Midwest, which meant that it was willing to undergird its white peasants from Europe with an economic floor. But not only did they give the land, they built land-grant colleges with government money to teach them how to farm. Not only that, they provided county agents to further their expertise in farming. Not only that, they provided low interest rates in order that they could mechanize their farms. Not only that, today many of these people are receiving millions of dollars in federal subsidies not to farm, and they are the very people telling the black man that he ought to lift himself by his own bootstraps. And this is what we are faced with, and this is the reality. Now, when we come to Washington in this campaign, we are coming to get our check. 